One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This week, the Ducks Unlimited crew is hunting in Alberta with Jack Hole, president of Ducks Unlimited Canada. 20. Jack Hole specializes on diver ducks. Jack has a decoy system that I think other diver duck hunters around the country should take notice of. It's very special for him. It allows him to be more mobile and to move quickly to find where ducks are working. Here's the point. A lot of diving duck hunters want to put out gigantic spreads. They'll put out two or 300 decoys and they'll have gang rigs and long lines, et cetera, et cetera. Jack hunts only with four to five dozen decoys, all rigged individually. And I want to show you, I'm going to draw out how he deploys these decoys. I've been to art school now to learn to do this. Uh, a point of land, Jack likes to set up on a point. And he'll put his main spread right in front of where they're going to be hiding, where the shots will be easy. And then he runs long lines. Now, I'm not talking about like gang lines. I'm talking about individual decoys. And these decoys could be 30 to 50 yards apart and extend 300 yards downwind. He'll run a line like this on either side of his spread. That way, any birds moving up the lake will see these lines. He likes to use bull canvas backs, big white decoys that are easy for birds to see as they come across the water. And then they'll hit one decoy, they'll fly to the next, to the next, and it'll lead them into the concentration. We got the spoony magnet. Oh, yeah. So again, very simple concept. If one spot doesn't work, Jack can quickly go out in his boat and pick these decoys up and move somewhere else. So mobility allows him to stay on the X, to be on the birds. If you adapt Jack Holt's diving duck decoy system, you'll stay in the action too. I'm Wade Bourne, and that's the Better Water Fowling Tip of the Week.